So, um, what Tony and I built was an uptime monitor. I first called it downtime detector, but I noticed that sounds a bit negative. So actually what we want to see is um, uh, how a website is nice and up. And um, it is very simple. We um, did not put multiple webhooks in one workflow. Instead, we've um, grouped this into five different workflows that we have um, um, named accordingly to the steps in the process, right? So one would be to serve the form. If you um, access this uh, page, you get served a nice HTML form. Actually not as nice as the one from our designer, but uh, <laughs> you can see like you still get along, right? You have two fields, um, one where you um, enter the URL of the website you want to monitor, whatever, or Microsoft. That is pretty much looks like Max's design. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I'm not saying too much. If, um, I've heard Bootstrap is a very popular framework. So it's, um, yeah, so this is how you sign up for, for this monitoring service. When you click submit, the um, second workflow kicks in, which uh, it stores the subscription. So it receives the webhook and it uh, renames the field so that we can use it in our database and then writes this data to the database and sends this wonderful thank you message that provides the user with the ID. The database itself is rather simple. So um, it has essentially three tables, like the monitoring table, the notifications table, and the subscriptions table. And we set up like a new subscriptions element gets entered here. So this is QuestDB, which is really nice because it comes with um, this wonderful web interface, which you can always uh, look into while you're developing stuff. So that was really, really pleasant to use. Like I have not used it before, but I can full heartedly recommend it. And then um, once the subscription is set up, this uh, cron job kicks in that uh, every five minutes just um, um, calls the website and notices the response. So it tries to open the website every five minutes and then um, stores the result in a database. And you can actually look at the data using um, this wonderful um, website that is provided by the fourth workflow, the display chart one. So um, what this does, it just um, fetches the subscription ID from the URL up here. So you can pass it along and then makes a database query and formats the results a bit using the item list node and then puts together like the HTML <laughs> website. <laughs> and yeah, and this is how it looks, the response, right? So you can see, um, um, so Zapier is uh, working fine, but uh, let's assume Zapier is not working fine. Um, just so you get an idea of how that looks like, because that's the more interesting part, right? You want to get alerted when your website doesn't work. So let's just insert a actual error in the database. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. <laughs> and then instead of the nice check mark, you will see um, a slightly deranged slowpoke, which I uh, thought uh, we found nicer than uh, the. I read cross. And uh, it will also send you an email if you have not received an email in the last hour, so which I did. So I'm not getting another one, right? So we'll also be alerted by email, which is what um, workflow number five does. And um, yeah, so mm -hmm. sorry, my Zoom commands in the way, but this is very simple, right? It just ferries the um, uh, downtimes, then checks, oh, have you sent out a notification in the last hour? And then just um, goes through this flow. Says, like, oh, if not, then send a notification and uh, store this in the database. So we know not to send out anything. Yes? What's the threshold for it to be a down? Like, I can't, like, one time, one failure is not enough, right? Oh, one failure. Um, but um, obviously, you can adjust the database queries as needed, right? So we're happy to share this if you're looking for a low cost alternative to <laughs> services doing this professionally. But yeah, um, yeah, you get an email and uh, you can display this wherever you want. Uh, the chart is actually an SVG render chart, which was nice. So this was all learned for the day of uh, how to um, build SVGs using uh, pure functions in NHN. Oh, wow. And that's what we did today. <laughs>